Maxwell inside. I cannot believe they don't have Maxwell here. I could cry. <laughs> he told me that. I was looking at him like, no, but why? <laughs> Hey you guys, I'm gonna make a different intro because this is just way too random. Um, I was like, let me pick up my camera because, you know, I'm doing my makeup and I'm in my head about, you know, my healing process, my healing journey. And it's like nobody talks about so many layers that comes with healing it's like especially in that isolation phase because what I'm experiencing right now is literally like getting back into society after being isolated and it has not been easy for me because I'm having a hard time like wanting to just get outside of the house to do something anything if it's not going to the gym, like, I'm just not interested, like, and it's not how it should be because this human experience is to be lived. Um, and I've been isolated for so long at this point, and it's not, I, someone was like, oh, because you're getting old. I'm like, it's definitely not because I'm getting old because y'all know, especially if you're introverted naturally, like, even before having spiritual awakenings, because I've been having different awakenings since like 2018 are the ones that I could really sit back and be like that's when it started but the deeper it gets the more um mentally draining and taxing it could be to be honest and you have to like find ways to pull yourself out um because sometimes vibrating high can be too vibrating you could vibrate way too high to the point where you're just like whoa you know i'm forcing myself to get out the house today because it's a saturday and i just need to get out the house like i need to get out the house i've been telling myself maybe next week ah uh, maybe next week mm, it's next week soon it is next week and I am going to get the house. But I just wonder, like, how come no one ever talks about, like, that isolation phase, right? And when you go from isolation to, like, just going back into society and you're, like, you're, like, becoming this whole new person. And you go into society and you start feeling like, whoa, I don't fit in. Like, I thought I didn't fit in before, but now I definitely don't fit in. And it's like, you know, having to have to discern, like, you you know so much now that it's like, when you know better, you want to do better. And you don't want to keep yourself at a standpoint where, you know, you're not doing better. Because why are you not doing better if you know better? Does that make sense? And um, I also know that, you know, my tribe is coming. I've, I've been meeting a few people that are just so much more aligned th than ever. Like, I've been meeting people that have been so much aligned with, you know, my with where I'm going in life now. And, like, the things that I want out of life. But it's like, I'm still not... I feel like I'm not showing up for the things that I want out of life enough because it's just kind of like isolation. Um, this is definitely not a makeup tutorial. I just randomly picked up my camera and felt like, you know, I feel like venting to myself, talking to myself. Um, life is hard and I just don't think that I should be making my life harder than what life is already well no life is not hard it's we make it like we life is not hard we make life hard especially if you're like me and you live in your head you may be making your life a little bit 
a little bit unbearable right now because it's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> but heavy on if you know better, you do better. And you know, you just now I just gotta find ways to merge all the things that I know into real life. I was talking to one of my homegirls and you know, she went through a similar awakening and she's like, girl, that kept me down for two years. And um, I'm like, mm -mm. <laughs> I don't got two years to be to be in this space. Like, no, I do not want to be in this space for two years. Like, that's just two years too long for me. Um, and she was telling me like what she would do to try to get herself back to grounded, like right to ground herself back. And I think it was really amazing, like to even think that that's what you have to do to come back to this reality. She would be like, girl, I went vegan. I'm not vegan, um, I'm pescatarian. But she was like, girl, I went vegan. So my vibration, especially not having anything in me, but just like earth. She was just saying how she would have to eat a piece of chicken just to bring herself back to reality, to ground. And she said something so beautiful to me. And she was like, you know, the spiritual realm is not going anywhere. <laughs> and I feel like I needed to hear that. You know, I really needed to hear that today. I know that God is with me always, even right now, even in this, in this space. Maybe I had to wake up this rising feeling like that because he needed to tell me like, girl, what is it that you're doing? I'm giving you all these gifts and you're just hoarding. <laughs> so that's how God and I talk to each other. Hey you guys. Okay, so I am done with my makeup and the face is sitting, okay? Because the face card never gets declined. I am wearing this green naked wardrobe jumpsuit i got like two years ago but you guys and i'm losing weight y'all see y'all see your girl is out here looking good for real like <laughs> okay <laughs> stop no but i am losing a lot of weight um but anyways that wasn't the point but the naked wardrobe jumpsuit and me go together because if you know me personally you know i am such a lazy dresser like i like to throw things on and go and go about my day and jumpsuits give me that privilege so we're wearing a jumpsuit you guys probably already seen it on my youtube but we repeat outfits around here all right okay. Okay, so you may see it again and again and again and again. Trainer recommended I go to a record store and that's so different, right? Like I've never been to a record store and I have a record player. So I was like, okay. And y'all, he really sold me when he said they might have Maxwell records. And baby, look at me. Do I look like I would say no to a Maxwell record? Me. Cynthia Tala, yes. You think I would say no to a Maxwell record? Like, no, let's stop playing ourselves. So now I feel like I have to find a Maxwell record. <laughs> so thank you, Frank, because I feel like I have to find a Maxwell record. What I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go to the record store and then I'm gonna go to the South Park area, maybe go have dinner out there but i definitely want to go to the mall i have no idea why i want to go to the mall but i feel like i should go to the mall um and then i may just go in uptown just to get out the house like at this point it's about to be five o'clock i have not been out in weeks and i just can't keep doing that to myself we're going outside we're looking cute and yeah like that's all that's all i need right my face Hey friends, hey friends, what's wrong with me? Um, so we just got, well, we, yeah, we, us, you, me, we just got to the record, record store. What am I even trying to talk about? 
I got here and the parking lot is like super full. So maybe this is really that grill of record stores. I try to go to a black owned record store. So if you guys um know any black owned record stores, please let me know down below. I don't think you can. I told y'all Maxwell and I do not we do not play about each other. He said I'm I'm coming on camera. <laughs> no, but um if you guys are familiar with any record stores that are black owned in the Charlotte area, please let me know. Um, cause just in case they don't have it in here, which I'm hoping that they do have a record, um, any Maxwell record is, is good enough for me. So hopefully they have one. Um, yeah, so let's go inside and check it out and we'll see. We'll see. This is actually my first time in a record store. I don't know. I've never thought to like, I've never thought to just like get a record. I don't know. I have a record player and I've never like took it out the box. It was gifted to me years ago. I need to be better. And it's crazy because like when I get gifted these things, I'm so appreciative. But it's like, girl, are you? Because are you using it? Why are you not using it? So, anywho, let's go check it out. So, got me some goodies. Let's unpack. Ah, it's actually really cold out here. Okay. So, okay, quick review. Lunchbox Records. I would definitely come back. They did have Maxwell, but they only had a CD in store. And the record um, sold out, like, during Christmas. And he's like, he probably won't get any more for like six months so um i'm gonna see, explore now i'm like to think i wasn't even into records this morning and now i'm like no it's the vibe i need to get the vibe because i'm just seeing myself making myself dinner and putting maxwell on a record player so um definitely need to do that need to figure out i may may um one of these days, I may just kind of like go around to see other record stores and see what they have going on. But I did like this one. They had a really good selection um, of R&B, R&B Soul. And then they had a lot of like older hits, which is super cool. Um, so I only got two though. I got Al Green's Greatest Hits. And then I also got um, Mighty Motown greatest hits and this one was six bucks the Al Green was on sale for twenty dollars so I spent like 27 um literally all the feel good like all the feel good Al Green um tunes are in here tired of being alone call me come come back home baby I'm still in love with you here I come love and happiness like y'all you know Al Green I, was, I have to get this and put those good vibrations in the home you know like when I'm cooking, I'm definitely going to use my record player now. I've had it for years and I just never use it. And I don't know why. But, um, what 
shall we do next? I am hungry. I have not ate anything all day. But I don't know what I want to eat. I have no idea what I want to eat. Mm. I feel like I want to go to South Park first. Like the South Park area first. And like kind of go from there. Um... Yeah, let's do that. I'm about 14 minutes away from South Park. So, Lunchbox Records, if you guys are local to the Charlotte area, Lunchbox Record is literally, like, in Midtown um, and not far from Uptown. So, it's a good location. Um, definitely come check it out. But I'm about to listen to my Maxwell. Guys, I'm so proud of myself. I really admire how I changed my day, like, to this rising was very 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 tough and I sat in bed and cried till like 10 a.m. and now I could honestly say like my day is going good like I'm having a good day and it's literally by the grace of God like I I just changed my mindset and just I'm just doing what I want to do like that's what life is about right like I don't know, but I was driving over here listening to my Maxwell, getting in my happy mode, and I'm just genuinely happy. Like, I genuinely feel joy again, and it just feels so good. I'm happy I got myself out the house. Um, I'm about to get into the mall right now, and I'll check in with y'all later. I don't think I'm getting anything. I don't even know why I'm coming to the mall. I think it's just something to do when there's nothing to do. <laughs> Y'all, I am starving. It's 7 o'clock and I still have yet to eat today aside from these crackers. Yeah, that's gum again. That gum is probably what was making me feel more hungry. Um, what are we gonna have? I don't know what I want. And I can only eat seafood, but it's like I want to go somewhere that's like vibey. I want to go somewhere that's pretty vibey. Fish. But I want to try something new tonight. I want to go to like Uptown. Or do I want to stay out here in South Park? That's that's the question. Do I want to go to Uptown or stay here in South Park? Because... There's this place... <laughs> <laughs> y'all it should not be this hard to get some food child there's so many options but it's like which one do i want i have a headache a headache now maybe i should do that maybe i should call someone and choose for me no think for yourself sin i don't know let's just vibe out We'll just let's just go with the vibes hey folks so i did not where am i gonna play show i did not go to break top nor neither what's the correct term anyways i didn't go to break top and i didn't go to um the waterman those are both places i was trying to go to tonight but i don't know i guess it's saturday and the people are outside but um they were packed and i was like absolutely not i'm starving so i'm about to eat now i just came home and i changed into like my houseware because something about like hear me out because i went to tequila's i went to tequila's taco and bar that's where i got my mexican food from and something about coming home after sitting at a bar and putting my outside clothes on my like couch just does not sit right with me so i'm not doing that i i've been here before but i wasn't like a fan of their chips but still warm you guys on tiktok no okay 
It looks so good. I was over here looking at it like, dang, I want to eat it. But you guys, I had such a good day. Like, like I said, I'm so happy that I was able to just change my day around. Like, this rising was really horrible. Yeah. That's just me being honest, because not every day is a good day. Especially living in this world right now. And um, I just want to be realistic with people because not every day is a good day. And I'm, think, I'm absolutely not going to be the one to make it seem like every single day is so great. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. Um, so this made me me. <laughs> this is probably me just closing this vlog. And if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And you guys could also kind of see my day, my overall day on TikTok. So follow me on TikTok, Views from Sin. V-I-E-W-S from Sin, C-Y-N. So, follow me on my social media, y'all.